In this lesson, we're going to create our sixth avatar. So what if we could combine our cartoony style with that geometric style that we did some lessons ago? We could tr give it a try. So we're going to move our photo right there to the right. And now let's go to our pen tool or press P on our keyboard. And let's create uh, some lines. So if we try to draw kind of roughly like a shape that it's going to be like this, just simple points. So just something like that and move it around and then we go right click, transform, reflect and make a copy and move it to the right. We could create a shape by going to our direct solution tool, select the bottom anchor points and use this tool that is going to close our anchor point. So just click here on the top. Now we have a shape like this. We could add the proper color, so something like this. As you can see, this is a shape looking very geometrical because it has sharp edges. Now I'm going to my ellipse because even though when everything is going to be geometrical, your eyes should still look like ellipses. So just, just make one and move it around there. Now I'm going to go and create a small rectangle to have it as an eyelash. So just move it right there. Now let's create another big rectangle. This one is going to be my glasses and fill it with a blue color. And again, go and change our transparency to something around 40. So now that we have this, we can select both of them, go transform, reflect and make a copy. Just move them around a little bit to the other side and I have something like this. Next, I'm going to create another rectangle. Fill it with a light blue color and align it to the center by selecting both shapes, make one the key object and also the same for this. But first I'm going to select both of them, go object and group them. Now I can easily align them both horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to create another rectangle by selecting a shape like this, fill it with brown color. And you can select it, click here and find your rotate tool or use the shortcut R and just rotate it a little bit. Move it there, go right click, transform reflect, make a copy, move it to the side by pressing shift so you constrain the movement on only one direction. Align them. Now I'm going to go to my pen tool, press P on my keyboard and create this shape that is going to be kind of half a triangle. Let's increase the weight. And for this, we're going to remove the caps as they are. So we're not going to be rounding them. Now I'm going to select this shape, right click, arrange, bring to, bring to front and move this one a little bit. So it is a little bit below that rectangle. Now I'm going to create a pen tool and click and drag. You can see that this is going to be the only curve, but because the caps are not rounded, it's looking exactly like that. Now I can select everything and group it, align it. And let's create another rectangle. So I'm just going to create a rectangle around there. Make sure that I align it to the vertical line center. Right click, arrange, send to back. And I'm going to change the color to a darker one. Next, I want to create the ears. So just make a, using the pen tool, I create a point, another point, another point. Remember that for this, you are not dragging because everything is going to be kind of geometrical and straight. So select both of them, right click, arrange, send to back. Now I'm going to select them all and apply the right color. So I was using a darker one. Now I'm going to go to my pen tool and create a little line. And using my eyedropper, I can select the same style that both my nose and my mouth are having. Let's just move them like that. Now I'm going to go to my pen tool, make a point, make another point, and again just making straight lines to create that same part that is going to be the top of my hair. So just change it to the right color. Right click, arrange, send to back. So you have something like this. And just as I have been doing with the rest of the avatars, use your direct selection tool to refine it and move it around just as you need it.
now that I have something like this, I'm going to go to my rectangle tool, or press M on my keyboard, create one like that, make it darker, right click, arrange, send to back. So to create the body, we could use a rectangle as we have been doing before. So you could create a rectangle like this, or we could, we could draw the shape with our pen tool as we have been doing now. So I'm going to go to my pen tool or press P on my keyboard and create a shape like this. And just as we did with our face, I'm going to go right click, transform, reflect, and make sure that I have a vertical axis copy. Just move it to the other side, select both the bottom on the anchor points. I go here on the top and you're going to find this tool, connect, select endpoints, just as we did on the beginning of this lesson. Now I'm going to select both of them and align them. Let's select the shape, right click, send to back. I'm going to change the color and position it where I think it works. So you could keep making refinements and you have your geometrical avatar just like that. Now that I have finished making refinements, what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit and see how that is comparing with the other avatar. So unlike the other ones, I would like to add some shadows. So I can go to my pen tool or press P on my keyboard and create some lines that go along the ones on my face. So just like that and round them all the way to the beginning of that anchor point. So you can make some shadow or, or some fill shape, sorry. So you're going to fill with this dark magenta color. Go here to transparency and you could play with the modes, but you could go overlay, then position it where you want. And just as with the other shapes, you could use your direct selection tool. Now select it, go uh, edit, cut, or you could use the shortcut control X. Now find this little icon right here that is called draw inside. Click on it. You can see a dotted line around indicating this is a draw inside mode. Now go edit, paste in place or use the shortcut Ctrl Shift B. Now you can see that it has been masked. To go outside this draw inside mode, all you have to do is double click outside that dotted line. So now I'm gonna create a, a rectangle and use my eyedropper to match the settings of that shadow. I'm gonna go Ctrl X, select my shape, go here to draw inside mode and Ctrl Shift B to paste it in place. Now I'm gonna go to my pen tool and kind of do the same with the, with the hair. So just try to make some lines that follow the shape and then remember to go back to the beginning to close your shape. Now if you select some overlay, you can see something like this, but also if you change the color to a dark blue and let's decrease the opacity a little bit, you can get something like this. Now select your shape, go draw inside mode and Ctrl Shift B to paste it in place. And even if you are already in that mode, you could still decrease or increase the opacity. So let's create another shape right here. Use my eyedropper, selecting it right there or using the shortcut I. Again, Control X, select Draw Inside Mode, Control Shift B to paste in place. Now I'm gonna do the same for the neck. So just point another here. You can see that just as I was doing with the avatar, main shapes, I'm doing the same with the shadow. So I'm going to select it, draw inside mode, go to shift B. Now, finally, we're going to do that same thing with our chest. And for this one, I am going to use the blue one, control X, draw inside, control shift B. So now you're going to have your avatar looking like that. And now what if you want to move the eyes a little bit, you can see that you cannot select them because they are below. So what you can do is press Ctrl Y. That way you are here to see your draw your outlines. And you can select the shapes as easily as they could be on the other mode. And just move them around to make the eyes in this case a little bit closer. Now I can press Ctrl Y again to go to the normal mode. Keep making some refinements and you could use your direct selection tool to even when the shape is getting masked, I can still move it around to get the exact results that I want. So all I have to do right now is just select it and scale it a little bit to have my last avatar. So with this, you have six, diff six different versions. I hope you have enjoyed this course. 
Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.